hi everybody. It is August 24, 2019. This is current radar. As you can see along the east coast, Doppler radar is beginning to pulse away. I link to everything below, including this site. So if you click on this link, let's say midnight into the early hours, I bet you will see Doppler radar pulsing away in more states. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. Um, very dangerous. I'm going to be going through more studies that show these frequencies are incredibly dangerous. Why am I doing this? I'm going to be showing you captures for the last two weeks how Doppler radar is pulsing very dangerous high frequencies the extremely low frequencies that you will see as well. Why is it that Doppler radar seems to rage after midnight? Are you having difficulty sleeping? They, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, they have Doppler radar, these extremely low frequencies, raging away because they affect our sleep and they also have an awful lot of adverse effects. I will be reading uh, excerpts from studies, Russian scientists, our military, studies on radar, the effect of radar, the effect of millimeter waves. Doppler radar pulses in the millimeter range. So we are already being affected by mm, 5G, the millimeter wave. And radar, yeah, yeah, it tracks planes, but they also use radar for surveillance. 5G, millimeter. All right. But I'm also, uh, before I get to the studies, I just want to show you a few things. Uh, here. This was left in the comments section, this link. I want to thank my subscriber for linking to this microwave and millimeter wave method and apparatus for controlling insects in stored products. Dr. Martin Paul, the video that I had just posted and I played an excerpt from Dr. Martin Paul talking about the dangers of 5G. 5G. He did talk about 5G, uh, there's a patent, pest control, pest control using microwave energy and in particular to the use of super high frequencies and extremely high frequency band microwaves. Pulsing from radar, enhanced selective heating of insects. If they can heat insects, they can heat us. They can heat all life. But the extremely high frequencies, super high frequency ranges, that's where Doppler radar is. So when you see this Doppler radar, which I will show you in one second, showing you, let's see, just uh, on the 14th at 10.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, wow, we've got Doppler radar pulsing away. All of the blue that you see is Doppler radar pulsing. The pie cutouts are the extremely low frequencies. So keep in mind when I'm showing you these captures, keep in mind that you are now being bombarded with very dangerous pulsating high frequencies, pulsating extremely low frequencies as you, well, sleep, try to sleep in your Wi-Fi homes with the smart meter and you're using your cell phone a lot and you got that cell tower close by and you've got the Gwen Towers and you got satellites beaming down dangerous frequencies all the electronic gadgets, your appliances, your new cars, 
the saturation has become like I'm surprised any life now exists but a whole lot of this life exists suffering diseased or ill chronic physical pain has wow skyrocketed but when you see this kind of pulsing as you just did they have based on based on my just looking at radar for about eight years they've increased the power level of these frequencies because I've never seen the pulsing uh, frequencies from Doppler radar as I have seen just this past year 2019 only getting worse and worse each month so when you think about artificial artificial intelligence that controls our weather now doesn't surprise me that I'm seeing these kinds of frequencies now the uh, extremely low frequency belting away Nevada different frequencies the the different colors are different frequencies the pulsing up here in Northern California that's new um, and the extremely low frequencies being set off in Southern California is also uh, that has been going on pretty much uh, it's standard now for months okay so I want to also as you're watching the captures that I have taken effects of pulsed high frequency electromagnetic fields on human sleep besides a hypnotic effect with shortening of sleep onset latency a REM suppressive effect REM rapid eye movement that period of sleep so necessary for healing so necessary for you to wake up feeling well rested it suppresses the REM stage why do we see Doppler radar raging after midnight on the East Coast into you know the uh, mid uh, into the mid section of the country that's when most people are sleeping uh, qualitative alterations of the EEG signal during REM sleep knowing the relevance of REM sleep for adequate information processing in the brain you know um, is that nestic functions memory functions learning processes it affects it all this I found interesting there was a military document radar protections and now file can't be found so download everything if you can because bookmarking well if they disappear it it's gone from your bookmark file long-term exposure to microwave radiation provokes cancer growth evidence from radars and mobile communication systems uh, tissue destruction and death from microwave radiation radar so radar Doppler radar can pulse in the microwave on into the millimeter wave uh, range of the electromagnetic spectrum so also keep in mind studies have shown that electric power lines just the lines electric power lines those frequency fields are biological stressors it is a well-established physiological principle that an anima a soul an animal a human being a life undergoing a stress will exhibit a diminished 
capacity to cope with a second simultaneous stress. We are all stressed. You might not feel stress, but your body is being stressed by these 24-7 pulses coming from your cell phone, from your Wi-Fi, from your smart meter, from your appliances, from your car, if it's a new car, from cell phone towers, Gwen towers, and from radar pulsing away. So that was the 14th that you saw. The 15th, here we have more pulsating frequencies. Uh, this was at 9.17 a.m. Very unusual to see this activity at 9 a.m. All right, so I'm going to go through the captures very quickly. I'll show you the frequencies that are controlling storms. And when you see the blue that fades away, comes back, okay, you're looking at high frequencies pulsating. And everybody in the states that you see these frequencies pulsating, all life is affected by this see the extremely low frequencies, which are the very long defined lines, the pi cutouts of the blue, extremely low frequencies. You have these microwaves and extremely low frequencies affecting this storm up here in Kansas, Missouri. Okay, um, all of these frequencies coupled with the saturation in everybody's homes, um, the cell towers and Gwen towers and satellites beaming down frequencies. The saturation has now become so thick, the concentration of these frequencies so uh, intense that it does not surprise me that so many people are dying Suddenly, animals dying unexpectedly, young, uh, so many people experiencing a whole host of symptoms. The chronicity of symptoms can't, you know, they, they just continue on. Chronic physical pain, uh, a lot experiencing what are considered to be psychiatric disorders. This is the 17th at two minutes after midnight. Two minutes after midnight. So you see all of the frequencies controlling the storm. You see these extremely low frequencies. The range is, well, it can range 300 miles. Um, I live right here, Anderson, South Carolina. You have the extremely low frequencies, <clears throat> Doppler radar blasting away in Spartanburg. And the range, as you can see, it affects other states. Okay, that's the 17th. Um, let's see, the 17th at 10 a.m. Again, a whole blasting of frequencies here in Louisiana. Uh, frequencies coming out of Georgia through the upstate of South Carolina. Doppler radar raging on. Nanotechnology creating our storms right along the, 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 the coast, the East Coast. Funny how these storms, when you, when you watch radar for a while, you will begin to see, ah, the nanotechnology, uh, these blips of severe storms, take on a nice line. Very often you will see all of the little blips come together in one storm. You will see frequencies that just make that storm very large, um, pulsating in Northern California. Um, but it seems as if the nanotechnology, these blips, look at them, the, the, it's, like, it's like watching someone like blow bubbles on the gulf 
of Mexico. Um, and it also, if you have looked at radar for a while, these storms are, they look very unusual, to say the least. The 18th at 2.39 a.m. So the frequency is controlling this storm. Um, you've got these extremely low frequencies blasting away Missouri, um, Illinois, and once again along the East Coast. It's a kind of quiet night for 2.30 a.m. Extremely low frequencies blasting away in Kansas. Yeah, you had those earthquakes, right? All right. The 19th, all of the, the blips of uh, these storms that connect together down here in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, but again, look at these extremely low frequencies and you can actually see them directing the uh, extremely low frequencies right here this circular uh, pattern they got going there um, why is so many people having difficulty sleeping this is at 156 a.m. on the 20th Look at the extremely low frequencies, the high frequencies coming from Doppler radar. Now, I usually see Doppler radar, the pulsing starts on the east coast and then it just moves its way to uh, like Central America, uh, United States. And this seems to be Doppler radar the pulsing, they've changed the pulsing. Of these frequencies, but look at South Dakota, look at Kansas. Uh, this is really unbelievably dangerous for all of us. And our military knows it, the Russian scientists know it. Uh, the effects are, well, numerous. Radar effects millimeter effects raging away South Dakota Nebraska frequencies controlling this storm and yes that was the 20th at 11 at 11 a.m. the 21st nine minutes after midnight. The blasting of dangerous frequencies. 21st, let's see the 21st at 10 a.m. Look at these frequencies, Houston, Texas, extremely low frequencies, blasting away, blasting away in Southern California, pulsating in Northern California, which is a very strong pulse, as you can see. And pulsating here in Georgia. Okay, so you know what the pulses look like. Um, the 23rd at um, about 4, close to 5 p.m. Very strong pulse of high frequencies here in Texas. All the blips, nanotechnology. And the 23rd at uh, 10.50 p.m. Very intense pulse. See along the East Coast, on into. Yeah, if it was just tracking planes, are there no planes in this area of the country? Only planes, you know, on the East Coast and then into 
No. What you're seeing is pulsating high frequencies on the East Coast in the areas where people are trying to sleep. But their REM stage is being suppressed. Why do you think we have so many Americans who are angry, who are depressed, who are irritable, uh, exhausted? This is the reason. This is the 23rd at 11.40 p.m. This is last night, just after midnight. And this was at 2.12 a.m. Frequencies controlling this storm. These are microwaves. You see the, the, the ripple formation. Extremely low defined lines. The ripple formation is microwaves. Um, okay, well, what does this all do to us? The effects of millimeter waves. Uh, biological effect of millimeter radio waves. This was a Russian, Russian scientist, 1977. Morphological, functional, and biochemical studies conducted in humans and animals revealed that millimeter waves caused changes in the body, manifested in structural alterations in the skin and internal organs, qualitative and quantitative, changes of the blood and bone marrow composition and changes of the conditioned reflex activity, tissue, respiration, activity of enzymes participating in the processes of tissue, respiration, and nucleic metabolism. The degree of unfavorable effect of millimeter waves depended on the duration of the radiation and individual characteristics of the organism, which I have shown many times before. Yeah, um, our military also knows that individual characteristics are very, very important. What's also important is is the individual, the individual, uh, uh, let's say, the individual's body fat content. That if somebody has a lot of fat content they would be less sensitive than someone who's very thin with very little fat uh, content. But also, pre-existing conditions, a compromised immune system, uh, a compromised brain, or the person's physical health, they're not in good shape. So, the frequencies will affect them more. Okay, nucleic metabolism. Listen to this. Nucleic acids. When I talk to students about nucleic acids, they're confused. They don't know what they do, and they don't usually know what they're made of. They do know that they're DNA and RNA, but let's start with what they do. So the biggest job that DNA and RNA have is making the proteins, the proteins inside the cell. And so when you look at me, you're looking at the proteins. But where are the directions to make those proteins? Those are found in the DNA. And how do they get to the proteins? Well, they're shuttled out by RNA. And RNA is more of a worker that's making these proteins inside the ribosome. And so the first job they have is making proteins. What's the second thing they do? Well, they make up our genes. And so that's what we pass on to the next generation. And so this is my son. He contains half of the DNA that I do. So I gave him a random half of my DNA, and my wife did the same. So he's a combination of, of me and my wife. Um, and life. Guess what? Wow. So uh, millimeter waves affect genes, DNA. Okay. 
So, it, the, but that's not the only effect. You know, the energy of millimeter waves absorbed primarily and mainly by the skin causes deformation. Uh, and I'm, I'm only going to read, you know, like certain words. You can pause the video and read the, uh, the full paragraph, but well-expressed changes of reactive character, nerve fibers, bunches, the nerve fibers, fibers bunched up, demyelinization, um, neural conductors of which were fragmented in separate cases, uh, the phenomena of demyelinization were observed in the surface layers. All of this incredibly dangerous tissue of the myocardium, liver, kidneys, spleen, uh, disorders, uh, disorders uh, of red blood cells, hemoglobin levels were affected, lymphatic system was infected, uh, affected, and bone marrow. With millimeter waves, disorders of conditioned reflex activity have been established, weakening of the stimulatory process. Disorders of the stimulatory and inhibitory processes displayed in animals during the repeated effects <coughs> of millimeter radio waves can be considered suppression of the function of the central nervous system. You know, these studies, I haven't seen anybody post videos on very, very important. Uh, we've known for a long time the dangers of the millimeter wave. Uh, they affect the catecholamines in the blood, the concentration increase, the hypothalamus, the adrenaline content increased, and the nora, nor adrenaline level dropped cerebral cortex. In the cerebral cortex there was a slight redistribution of catecholamines. In, <clears throat> in the adrenal glands the adrenaline content doubled and the noradrenaline level dropped. The adrenaline concentration in the adrenal glands remained elevated 60 percent for 10 days. Elevated by 60 percent. The results indicate well-expressed changes of metabolism, of um, catecholamines under the influence of millimeter waves, both in the hormonal and in the sympathetic uh, components of the sympathetic adrenal system, and also reflect changes of the functional activity of its hormonal and mediator components. Yet you don't even have to know you know exactly how this affects you just know that if you are having an external factor affect what's inside your brain what's inside your body that is not good that external factor is taking over the natural processes of your body and of your brain and no you can't it's not good. Um, it caused changes of the processes of oxidative phosphorylation. Oh, I, I'm pronouncing some words wrong. I'm, I apologize. Uh, in the liver, kidneys, heart, and brain, irradiation inhibited the oxygen consumption rate by the mitochondria, slowed down the rate of respiration, upon exhaustion. Uh, liver and kidneys of irradiated animals, uh, the intensity of phosphorylation decreased by 64 percent. You know, this is why people are saying the rollout of 5G, we are going to see an explosion of illness, disease, and death of all life. <clears throat> liver, spleen, kidneys, lungs, heart. Reduction of the content of nucleic acids. Substantial changes in the protein. Metabolism. Reduction of general energy level. 
uh, suppression of all functions of the organism, including suppression of synthetic processes, but especially of nuclei, uh, nu nucleoprotein metabolism, which is very energy consuming. Investigations indicate high bio biological activity and an unfavorable influence of millimeter radio waves on the organism. Biological reactions increased with increase of the period of irradiation and depended on individual characteristics of the organism. Okay, so we are now saturated 24 seven. There are some areas of the country that are not so uh, well, the Upper Peninsula, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan area, Maine, um, and you know I'm seeing less frequencies in Washington, Seattle, uh, uh, the Washington, Oregon area. But the first couple of years, that's what I was posting on. All of the extremely low frequencies in Doppler radar shooting off out west, not California but Oregon, Washington, Montana, sometimes Idaho, and Wyoming blasting away. Now we have it blasting away on the East Coast and Central United States. Maybe because these frequencies can also be used for mind control. Look, look at the, well, the call for socialism, California, Oregon, Washington, the leftist crazy making behavior that's going on in those states. Um, I'm also going to read uh, from, by the way, this is the, I post, uh, and this is on, this is on my channel, Never Lose Truth, because I originally posted on Kafka Winston World. Okay, I reposted this video. This is a hard copy sent to me by a subscriber, Frequency Spectrum, uh, 1968. This chart is part of the publication of the Joint Technical Advisory Committee, Spectrum Engineering, The Key to Progress, incidences of such side effects uh, which have been entered on the chart indicate frequencies at which experiments have been performed. I want to show you here, ultrasonic, sonic, that's the extremely low frequencies. You get to the high frequencies and you've got radar. You've got radar. Radar, Doppler radar, millimeter, millimeter, mm, millimeter wave. That's the range that these Doppler radar are pulsing away dangerous frequencies in the millimeter range. And experiments showed that they the radar penetrates foliage. Electronic cooking, troposphere, scatter communications. Electronic cooking, uh, eye damage, cataracts, uh, used for weather. So let's just check out radar. And where do I have radar? I've got that right down here. So this is uh, this document from the Department of the Army um, decades ago was finally produced by a freedom of information request. And I, you can pause the video and read the full um, paragraph, but May 1957. California medicine, tissue destruction and death from microwave radiation, radar, direct beam of a radar transmitter. Uh, this was uh, experiments that they were conducting. A man had the direct beam of a radar transmitted for a few seconds directed at him. He had a sensation of heat. The heat became intolerable in less than a minute and he moved away from the antenna. Within 30 minutes, he had acute abdominal pain and vomiting. 
he died within 10 days from inflammation of the intestines attributed to destructive heat generated by the radi uh, radar beam. Think about all of the people who are coming down with so many illnesses. And it doesn't have to just be from radar. It could be the extremely low frequencies. It could be uh, you know, the cell phones, the Wi-Fi, the smart meter. But the oversaturation is producing. Americans, they used to be healthy. No longer. Now, we, the chronic illness in our country, but most Americans now are ill. What happened? What happened so quickly? They can kill people easily. This, it was a few seconds that this man was hit with a direct beam of radar. Uh, General Electric, the discovery of tinnitus, the buzzing, the knocking sound. Um, when the transmitter was turned on, these are monkey experiments. I, all right, I'm going to they're, all right, they did experiments on, I have a hard time, because I, I have a visual mind, you know, so when I'm reading things, I can actually see it. I don't like seeing this stuff, but examination of the brains of 10 monkeys, which died in the experiments, revealed no pathological cause of death. Um those that m those monkeys that survived showed symptoms of Parkinson disease or, or resembling Parkinson's and I will link below to the documents so if you want to read how these experiments how these studies were performed uh, that's fine but they irradiated the heads of monkeys dogs, rats. Behavior of subjects during exposure, they were able to bring them to an aroused state, to a drowsiness. They were able to get them in fixed positions, to render them motionless, to stare with a wide fixed gaze, to an agitated state, to bring them to do this rapid side to side head movement. Uh, they could make the movement cease abruptly. They could be quiet and unresponsive to touch, pain, light, sometimes to sound stimuli, then alternating them back and forth from arousal to drowsiness. Could be made to move about in a chair and they could do it within a 20 second cycle, reacting like a puppet on the end of a string. Think about our mass shooters. Eye signs, uh, and I've had this happen to me. The uh, sagging upper eyelid, have you had that happen? I have from continued exposure. Rapid blinking, rapid involuntary oscillation of the eyeballs, vertigo, autonomic changes, skin of the face would flush, then pale, nose often became pink. Further exposure, the rapid blinking progressed to a clonic movements of the eyes, bilateral clonic movements of the other facial mus muscles, a severe grim grimace, which pulled back the lips from the teeth. Yeah, I have a hard time reading this. They could be brought to 
seizure. Motor loss, paralysis, weakness of the upper extremities, um, inability to coordinate voluntary muscular movements, experiencing loss of balance, any of you? Develop lesions of the occipital muscles and overlying skin. One animal developed a right facial weakness. They can produce signs of intoxication. After 10 minute exposure, damage to the pituitary gland, damage to the test, um, the testes, the tissue. Indicated by the failure of the tissue to fully respond to the hormone being elaborated. Testicular, intertestial tissue. Unconventional research in USSR and Russia. The short overview. I'm going to end here and I'm going to pick up right where I left off. Yes, the videos along. Well, I've been wanting to just put all of this research together in videos and, you know, I, this is, this is the best I can do. This is all I can do. And at least it's out there. Um, if anybody can put together a shorter video, a better video, uh, please go for it. All the links are below.